Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop. Today I've got a pretty cool video with it's a little experiment with my laser cutter. So a little while ago I was trying to I was bored and I was trying to see what I could do with my laser. So I found a rock in the backyard. Something like this. It's, I think it's like sandstone or something. Just trying to engrave it wasn't really working. So I thought what would happen if I tried to cut it? And when I tried to cut it, this is not the original one, but it turned the sandstone into glass. So I thought it'd been pretty it would be pretty cool to make something bigger out of it. So I found this piece, a little bigger, has a nice flat spot. I'm going to try and engrave it, but the problem is it's a little thick and it's completely lopsided. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and flatten this down to a... But just take this bottom chunk off with... I think I'm going to use an angle grinder with just a cutoff wheel. Just cut that down flat, and then we'll go over to the laser. As I set this up, let me just say I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. That's how I do it with both, most of my projects. They... They usually turn out okay though. I usually do a little bit of research, but I was not able to find any. I don't think anyone's ever tried cutting sandstone with a Glowforge laser cutter before. So I might be the first person doing this, don't know. But I need to flatten this out and I'm gonna try this metal cutoff wheel, it's a ceramic disc. I've cut stone with it before, cut marble with it. It should work. I'm just gonna clamp this down. This is not secure at all. But, you know what, it's an experiment. That's, oh yeah, let's see what happens. There's, there's a cool bike I built. This is a backwards bike. I'll, I'll probably show it soon. It pedals backwards and steers backwards so it's completely impossible to ride. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, well that just did nothing. It heated it up and just threw sparks and barely cut into it at all. I'm gonna have to find something else. So on closer inspection, it's actually kind of cool. It also turned it to glass. It heated it up enough that it hardened it and now it won't cut through. So I don't want to chisel it because I don't want to break. I don't want to risk breaking the surface because there's some cracks in it already. May just have to stick it in the laser and like prop it up some way. Okay, I found a solution. I'm just gonna stick this piece of wood under it and now it's flat enough and I'll just have to take out the bed of the laser and then it'll just it'll be a little more complicated putting in the height settings, but this should work. Okay, so at the laser, it's gonna take, there's this tray at the bottom. The Glowforge only has about a half inch of workspace with the tray, but if you take out the tray, Gives you an extra inch and a half in space. Oh, and by the way, link in the description, you can get up to $500 off one of these. This is the Goldforge Basic, you can get $100 off this one or up to $500 off the Pro. It's a pretty good deal. And I think I get a little cake back from that too. Okay, so we've got three pieces of quarter inch plywood as a spacer. It's gonna go down, and the rock's gonna go down with its flattener device, I don't know what to call it. Looks like I'm about an inch and a half. Might have snap it. I think if I set it at zero, it should be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna set the focus height at zero as if it's flat with the bed. And that should be a good height. Then head to the computer. Alright, for this I wanted something that had a good pattern but wasn't a bunch of lines too close together. So I made this kind of Celtic knot kind of thing in AutoCAD. And then I already have this open from a thing I was doing earlier today. Okay, got the design imported in. Okay, I'm gonna scale it down till it fits on the rock. Zoom in a bit. That, that seems to be a good fit. I think I can make it a little bit bigger, actually. Okay, let's scale it up a tiny bit. Give it, 
get in a good spot. Okay, that seems pretty good. We go uncertified material. Let's put it at the minimum because it's the rock's built up to about the same height as the laser. And I'm going to go to a manual manual cut. And I'm just going to go full power and the slowest speed, which my ex previous experiments gets a nice glass. It's pretty cool. Hit the button. Oh, that loads. Look at this pupper. He's a good boy. He's a big fan of lasers. Seven minutes. It's going very slow. On the way over to the laser, look at that. I made both of these. Seal of the United States and steel and a KC-135 refueling. I believe that's an F-15 in wood. So go follow me on Instagram to see more projects like this that I haven't, that I built before I started filming things. There's got a lot of cool stuff there. So Instagram, right, right there. I'll put it right there. One other little thing you'll get from following me on Instagram is other than projects, I've st I'm going to start doing little other videos. For example, here's a bullwhip I made. It's kind of, it's falling apart. I'll be remaking this soon. So stay tuned for that. So subscribe to watch that. I'm going to be remaking this paracord bullwhip. I'll be making an eight foot one. But if you haven't seen the bottle cap challenge going around, I did it with a bullwhip. So you can see that on my Instagram. Here's the slow-mo. Okay, now the fun part. Button's ready to go. Push the button. I'm not gonna be doing a time lapse here because this is actually pretty cool to watch. I'm gonna do all of it. I think I got the focus height wrong, but it should work. Yep, it's gonna work. You can see it's nicely making glass right there. Yeah, I definitely got the focus height wrong, but that doesn't matter at all because it's working, which is kind of weird, but I guess in future, get the focus height wrong. Further along now, and it's looking, it's actually looking better than all my test ones. So it looks like you actually want the laser focus to be below the surface of the rock. This is interesting. But it's looking really good so far. Try to get a good shot of, there you go. See if I can get a good shot of the actual laser itself on the rock. It's just way too bright, you see. Just that. Maybe we can get a good shot of it. Get it darker. That's just an extremely bright laser. Bring that back up. Okay, it's done. Let's see how it turned out. That turned out better than expected. As this white st smudges on it, that just comes right off. This actually looks really awesome. It's, this is way better than I expected. It's super smooth. I'm guessing that's because I had the focus depth set so deep that somehow it made these super smooth glass lines. We've got like black glass engraved into stone now. And it only took like seven minutes to engrave. This is awesome. So that turned out way better than expected, turning sandstone into glass with a laser cutter. This is definitely going on display. I'll be putting this on my Instagram again. You can follow me on Instagram right here. There's a lot of cool stuff there, projects that I don't film or little sneak peeks, a bunch of cool stuff coming there soon. And right now, I guess. So if you like this video and you want to see more projects that I do, please subscribe, hit the like button. I think there's a notification bell now. Click all those things, all the buttons down there. There's lots of buttons. Just click all of them. Just every single one. Click them all. Except that thumbs down one. No one likes that button. So, thanks for watching. Pretty cool pictures. I'll put really good close-up pictures of this on Instagram. Follow me there. I've also got shirts available on Amazon. Check those out. Link in the description. Cool link, link to get discounted on the Glowforge if you really want one. You want to try engraving sandstone yourself. Now, I've got more projects coming soon. I'll see you next time.